Hello everyone and welcome back to another interview behind the scenes at British Esports Student Champs. This time I'm here with Hazza, our resident Valorant commentator. Uh, Hazza, do you want to just introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about what it is that you do? Uh, yes, yeah, so I am a caster primarily for Valorant but a few other games as well. I'm looking to do some hosting here and there but for the most part commentary, anything behind the microphone is something that I'm interested in I suppose. A bit of content creation on the side potentially but for the most part, uh, yeah, that's my interests and what I get up to. Okay, so how did it get started for you? How did you come about kind of the casting role? Yeah, so I, I briefly mentioned their content creation. I originally started out streaming for the most part, and then I played quite a bit of Valorant as well when the game came out about two years ago now. And for me, it almost felt like a logical progression. I saw some games being played and they didn't have a caster for it or anything. And I always felt tempted to hop on the mic and, and go for it. And, you know, eventually I did have an opportunity um, through a UK uh, org basically to, to go and do it. And um, from then onwards, I pretty much just loved doing it and, and kept on going going and it brought me here. Okay. Uh, what made you choose Valorant over other games? Was something about Valorant that particularly drew your interests? Uh, well, originally I played a lot of Counter-Strike when I was younger and it was almost a logical progression, I want to say, but I did take a, a fairly big break from playing FPS games when I first got to university. But when Valorant came out, it had a lot of appeal to me as well, especially because I think some of the uh, ultimates that you have are styled similarly to abilities from Overwatch and then it's that blend of traditional tactical FPS genre video game style from CS as well so there are elements from both games which I really really like so for me it was sort of like the perfect mix I really enjoyed it and I figured that it was a good game to get into and then I picked up casting from there. Cool how do you tend to prepare for a cast? What kind of things kind of run through your mind before and then the preparation to do a cast? So when it comes to preparation, sometimes there are people I work with to try and get stats and stuff behind the scenes, as much information on players as you possibly can to try and help assist the narrative as, as it's going along, knowing what their previous head-to-head -head games are, if it's two teams that have played each other previously. Sometimes you don't have that liberty to look at teams in great detail if it's a closed circuit. I know in student champs as well, sometimes it's difficult to get information on these players because they come from different schools and whatnot and their accounts may not be shared mm. as the ones that they would use at home. But for the most part, just finding out statistics, anything interesting that you can throw in there to um, give a little bit of extra insight, stuff that the viewers may not necessarily know from just looking at a glance, nothing that would appear on the scoreboard regularly. So stuff like that basically to give you a bit of an edge coming into it. Cool. And what would you say is the most difficult part, do you think, about casting that you find at least particularly? Um, I think something with casting, which sometimes people do quite frequently, it's just trying to make sure that you're not saying exactly what's happening in front of you. Right. Trying to paint that picture a little bit differently instead of um, simply reading off the screen the numbers that you're seeing or the the eliminations as they come through on the scoreboard effectively so trying to do it in a sense of you're making sure you're covering all of the action that is important but also displaying it in a way that you create it your own I suppose the wordplay that you use as well and um, uh, yeah I, I guess just not um, taking it for what it is trying to give uh, your take on, on what it is that you're seeing and really add something to the broadcast. Cool. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who maybe want to do something similar to you, whether yeah. it be within Valorant or any other games, but casting at least in general. What kinds of things would you suggest to these people who are wanting to get involved? Where should they start and what kind of things should they be doing? I think basically there, there are a lot of opportunities. Well, it's sort of a double-edged sword. There's a limited opportunities where, uh, as you start to move on. But from a base level, there are plenty of voluntary spots that you could definitely take up to get into casting. You, you're not going straight in there with the aim of going on VCT the first time that you do a cast. And I mean, for, for a start, you don't even necessarily need to be in contact with a tournament organizer or so something like that you could maybe run your own but I think there are plenty of opportunities to just go back and look at VODs for example from uh, VCT for example if you want with those top teams and uh, just record yourself casting over that video make some kind of a compilation of them maybe send it off somewhere post it and um, see if you can gain any traction from that and if you can get in contact with someone who wants you to cover their event that's a great starting point. Yeah uh, and then so just to kind of finish this line of questioning then uh, what's one tip you could give to someone to make a cast go from good to great? That is a really good question. I, I'm not necessarily too sure. I think just try and create your own style, I suppose. Something okay. that uh, you know I'm trying to figure out as I'm going through casting. I've been doing it for probably just shy of two years now, a, a year and a bit, I think it would be fair to say. So 
just sort of uh, tr have your idea of what you want to bring to the broadcast. I think that that's the main point that I'm trying to get at. As a caster, um, think of the difference between there not being casters on broadcaster and then having the commentary there for you. Um, what is it that you're delivering uh, as, as a whole product? What is it that you're contributing to the broadcast? Whether it's, uh, you know, you have amazing play-by-play, -play, you shout and create hype moments, whether it's, you know, you're someone funny or whether you're very smart with the way that you use your words, just try and think of something um, that can make it more exciting for the viewers at home. Thank you everyone at home for tuning in. Uh, it's much appreciated. We always uh, thrive off of the enjoyment and the views that you give us. So thank you so much. Make sure if you do enjoy the content to subscribe to the channel and follow British Esports on all the social media that we've got all across various social platforms. Hazza, thanks again. Thank you for coming. And thank you everyone. Take care and we'll see you later.